Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Conservative Poet. I am Amanya. Let us just get right straight into it, friends. This video, I'm covering two of trending topics right now. The Grammys with this satanic performances, satanic demonic performances, satanic demonic outfits, satanic demonic, the whole thing. So we're covering that. And we're also going to cover the Kirk Franklin aspect of things. He recently did some sort of video or interview or whatever he was doing uh, where he talked about being in the room at the, um, at the Grammys and so on. And so I go through that video and I incorporate um, performances, pictures, video from the Grammys to kind of bring it all together. And really what I'm talking about here is this Kirk Franklin is a gospel artist and um, he's supposed to be working for God. And well, that's not really what we're seeing. And it's been like that for a long time with his career. There's been questions about, you know, you know, the way he carries himself. There's been questions about maybe he, you know, he takes it up the buttocks. I don't know, but there's been questions about that. And so, but he actually kind of shows you these things in his, in his personality and his style. So we're just going to stay off that topic right now. But if you're interested in seeing the conversation, my reactions towards his, what, what he's saying in his talk and the overall Grammy situation, please stay tuned for that. Let's go. I love gospel music. It's the only genre I've ever wanted to do. I've never wanted to do any other genre of music but gospel music. Uh, I love the community. Uh, I'm grateful that I've been able to be a part of this incredible community now for over 30 years. My first album uh, this summer will be 30 years old while we sing Turns 30 this June. And, um, and so, first of all, that person walking around in the background, it's really rude. Obviously, the man is uh, trying to make a video. Obviously, he's being interviewed or whatever is happening here. But yet, this person just keeps moving around. Being around the genre, you know, I have seen it grow. I've seen it um, be an infant. I've seen it, you know, stumble. I've seen it have many moments. You know, I'm, uh, I started out when I was 23. I'm 53, and uh, last night, to be there uh, and to, um, you know, have the opportunity, you know, to do music with Maverick City and to do this joint album that we did together, and, you know, it was nominated in the categories, and, and uh, you know, and it was, you know, it was a kind night, you know, it, it was, it was, it was a kind night, and it was also for me a very challenging thing to be able to think through when I when I think about just the state of this community that I love. And it came to me very strongly when I was at the main show, and I was watching the tribute to hip. What I'm hearing here, he was in the room. He was at the Grammys. He was there during this satanic performance, sis, where people were literally in their devil headgear 
light up in the whole room. Did you have a devil headgear on? Son of the living God, gospel singer Kirk, did you have one of those devil horns, man? And what about the, the Mavericks? Did they have it on too? How does your light shine in the middle of all that? How do you sit there through the performance, man? I'm just trying to understand. 50 and watching the energy in the room. And the truth is, what I even saw there is like, there's no other genre on this planet that could have gotten that whole arena up on their feet right like that. I mean, you could have, last night you should have been in the building. No. No, I, I don't, I didn't want to be in the building, man. Not when people are outwardly worshiping the devil. No, I don't want to be in the building, man. And you're talking hip hop here. Aren't you a gospel artist, man? I'm going to clip some, some, some videos, some pictures of, of, of the whole setup there, but I wanted to just listen to him go on for a little bit. You have, you are supposed to be a child of the living king. You're supposed to be a Christian, but yet you're in the room and have no problems. You're happy to be in the room because they're contributing their, their, they're attributing to hip hop. Is that your new genre band? It's hip hop. No matter what race you were, no matter what genre of music you love, Black music, hip hop music, had everybody in the room up on their feet. When Public Enemy came through the door, when LL Cool J stepped on stage, when Salt Pepper stepped on stage, when Queen Latifah came out, when Rakim came out. You listen to them too? Yeah. Where happened to your brothers and sisters in Christ? You know, who, who, who are they? They weren't there? Oh. When Rakim came out, you know, you know, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was just moment. And so, what I thought to myself was, I, and I felt sad for the genre that I'm in. It's because, because you sold it out. Is that why you feel sad? You sold out your your genre of gospel music, man. You sold it out. Is that why you feel bad, Kirk? What's his name? Kirk Franklin, is that why you feel bad? Gospel music is the foundation of Americana. It is gospel, gospel blues and jazz are the original sounds of American music. And gospel blues and jazz, when's the last time you bought a jazz album? When's the last time you bought a blues album? And slowly this conversation about a genre of music that has, and the difficulty with gospel music, gospel music has inspired so many people that we see and experience now. Chris Brown sang in the kids' choir. I mean, you know, Usher sang in the kids' choir. Justin Timberlake sang in the choir. Mariah sang in the choir. Why do you think gospel music isn't moving along? It's because there's, dare I say it? Demons who is out for themselves only to get rich, only to do what they want, not really to, 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 to put out God's words. Is that why gospel music is not really, you know, big the way it should be? Because God can make it that way. But the people in the genre, the people in the movement, people, you've been in it 30 years, the people who are in it, you and your, and your fellow colleagues, if I should, if I may have disappointed the Lord in the things that you're doing. And therefore, it's not blessed the way it should be. Because why? Because you sold out to the demons. Experience coming from black gospel music, but yet there is this, there's this disconnect that I can be honest and tell you that's breaking my heart. 
The disconnect is you all have left it because you want to praise yourself. You're supposed to be praising God in this music. But you're praising yourselves because why you want to get rich, you want fame, you want fortune, you want bling, you want fancy houses and fancy this and fancy that. That's why there's a disconnect, man, because God isn't in it. The devil's in it. That's why there's a disconnect. We used to have Bobby Jones. You can see your favorite gospel artist on Bobby Jones. You can see your favorite gospel artist on Celebration of Gospel. And, you know, you can see your favorite gospel artist in different elements. And now, now because the world has changed, it's not just the music, it's the world has no longer as much of an interest in the conversation we're having. The world, you're absolutely right about that. The world has changed and they have no interest in God. They have no interest in Christianity. They have no interest in gospel music. That's what has happened. They have no interest in it. Because artists have sold out the music. And so when you have fewer doors, you begin to have more tension within the community. It's because there's fewer outlets. And I am clear. I am clear on this. Oh, Sunday best. We used to have Sunday best. I am clear on this. And I want you to know that I'm going to say this right now. I am clear on this. There are Grammys that I have won. I'm so disappointed in this person. So very disappointed in you. And I'm sure God is disappointed in you too. He gave you a talent to do his work, to bring music to his people. But that's not what you've done. It's about you. It's about fame. It's about fortune. It's about these things that doesn't really matter. Your music is supposed to glorify the king. Your music is supposed to elevate the people. But that's not what happened with your music. And the way you carry yourself certainly is not. You. People can't see you and say, yeah, there's God in that. I can't tell. I can't see you here. I, I'm, I'm watching you on this video right now. And I can't tell that you're a man of God. I can't tell not from not one thing that you've said. And I could look at your face. There's a sadness. There's a brokenness in there. And I hope, brother, that you have found that you need to start repenting. And asking the Lord to help you through this. Because if you can sit in that room with all of this demonic things going on and be comfortable, you know, hanging, you know. No. Maybe that's the sadness I'm seeing in your face right now. Maybe God is dealing with you on the inside right now. And you need to, to make choices right now. 53, you say? 53, then yeah, maybe you need to make some choices right now. Maybe you need to, to repent and start to figure things out and, and rework this thing. And go back to what, to, did you say your love, your, your genre, you can't see you doing anything else but this genre? Then maybe you need to start to build this genre again. Maybe that's what you need to be doing. that I did not deserve. There are Grammys in my career that I have won. There are stellar awards that I have won. There are double awards that I have won. That the only reason why I won is because the amount of time I've been around. I'm clear on that. I am clear on that. I am clear on that. It is not because I have had the better records. It's just now after 30 years, some people, they just know my name and, and they'll see your name and I'm, I'm letting you know that's not fair.
This guy has no God in him. I can tell. I don't know what God you be talking about in your songs, but it ain't the God that I know. Because he's not in you, I can tell. That's not fair to the community. That's not fair to the artist. Now, and I'm not speaking of that last night. That's that's not what I'm speaking of. I'm, I'm speaking of it's because last night I was with Maverick City, and and and, and Maverick City, God is blessing them. And which God is blessing Maverick City, friend? Which God is that? The one y'all was worshiping last night with the devil horns? That God? Is that who Maverick City was worshiping? Is that the, the, the who's who's giving Maverick City who has their blessings? Is that what it is? Is that who it is? A disgrace. And oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm shaking. Um, well, I just, everyone in this category is absolutely amazing. Every song so deserving. Um, the cool thing about this song is that these ladies started it in a flow moment at church, like a prophetic moment. And uh, never underestimate what God can do with a seed. Christian. Look at this Christian with his big old gold. Christian. All in the name of Jesus. Did they even thank God? They mentioned Jesus. I guess that's as close as you're going to get on oh God. That's as close as you're going to get. Is this the same stage that they were just paying homage and praises to Satan to? Now we got the Christian people on the same place. Did they, did they spray it down with bleach and clean it up first? Before they put the holy people in there? My God! How did that go? Holy Christian to their father, thy God in heaven, on the same stage as the satanics were worshiping the devil. on a red outfit like the demons he has on a red suit just like the demons but there are other people that need to be blessed and other people that need to be highlighted other people that need to be shown love and unfortunately we don't have those hip-hop moments like last night I mean think about it hip-hop had a moment at the Grammys, hip hop has a moment at the AMAs, American Music Awards. Hip hop has a moment, of course, at the BET Awards. Friend, you're not hip hop. Why are you talking hip hop? You're not hip hop. You're gospel, man. Have you forgotten that? You're gospel, Christianity, Christian. You're not hip hop. What a disgrace. Hip hop. It is now limited to just fewer and fewer moments. And now the people that are doing it and doing it well, you may not even know them because they're just few doors. And then again, it creates discouragement and tension within my community. So this is what I wanted to do, man, is I wanted to take a minute to tell you that there are people last night that were nominated in those categories that you may not have ever heard. There, there, there are people that follow me that may not listen to gospel music. They may only know me is because they play Melody from Heaven in the club. <laughs> Maybe the only reason why you know me. You know what I'm saying? You know, you heard Melody from Heaven, you know, when when you when uh, you were sitting on that brunch and rain down on me, you know, and you was with your girls and y'all was, you know, looking cute. What the hell was that? Rain down on me. Guy's a joke. You're a disgrace. I'm done with this. <sighs> Friends, 
I don't know what else I can say. I just don't know what else I can say to wrap up this video. This was a hard video to go through. I got emotional in this. I got angry in it. I just, it's, it's just such a disgrace to see and watch this. And I know we are living in the end of the days, the end of days. I know these things are supposed to happen. I know. Revelations tells us. I know that these things are supposed to happen in order for all this to be over with. But it's like, wow. To watch this thing unfold like this before us. That's what these Grammys was. Revelations coming to life in full force. Men of God praising and worshiping the devil. We are at the end, friends. We are at the end. Friends, I pray that pray hard, pray often, stay close to Jesus. Because any day now, we just might hear the trumpets blow. I'm going to end this video now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I have to say, the YouTube algorithm has not been very good to me. They have been suppressing my work. They have been suppressing it. And I really need for, the, for you guys to share it, share it, share it, share it, please. Um, because YouTube is not letting people see this video, my videos. And they're probably not going to let people see this video. So please, you guys, I need your help. Share this video so uh, it can get out there. So again, I thank you for watching and sticking with me through this. May God bless you. May God keep you. And we have got so many souls to save. There's too many souls. We've got a lot of work to do, people. Thank you for helping me share these messages. God bless.